Hello, cozy friends. How are we this week? Sheila's in a mood today, so get ready for that. Um, cheers. Bloop. I have a snack. This is my snack. What's yours? This is mine. Half-baked cookie dough and fudge brownie. Chunks? I don't know. They're good, though. And that's what I'm eating. And let's go. Void mayo. If you remember, you remember. A battery pack? I got you, Pammy. I've got the void mayo. I've got it. Oh, goblin. It is time. Okay, put those in there. I'm gonna have some pale ales, some gold or iridium. <gasps> iridium quality pale ale. How long do they have to stay in there? Also, okay, I'm gonna say this right now <laughs> to finally clear the air. After the last episode, episode 41, I had figured out, not I, Anne, my lovely, lovely friend. <laughs> Thank you, Anne, very much. Anne told me that you have to use the crafting recipe, the ancient seed crafting recipe. That's how you do the seeds. And then I learned that after I had already filmed it and then y'all were like in the comments, like Kennedy, you dumb dumb, it's the crafting recipe. And I'm like, I know, I know, now I know. Only now because of Anne, thank you Anne. But I also appreciate y'all trying to help me because I am a dumb dumb most of the time, thank you. Thank you for knowing that and, and, you know, trying to help me. Trying to help a dum-dum in need. Okay, now I have a bunch of random fruits. Where the hell did I leave poo? Oh no, I do this every time. Oh, I didn't even get poo. I didn't even retrieve poo today. <gasps> we have a beet? Oh, I kind of want to save the beet. Is it a radish? I've just now realized I don't know the difference between a beet and a radish. No, a radish has the white part on it, right? It's a beet, it's a beet. Let's make beet, can we make beet juice? Let's make beet juice. Okay, animals. Snumby, showpert. Also someone said it's the sound of the pigs digging up truffles, not my horse eating hay. So once again, I am a dum-dum. And you all have set me right. And I appreciate you for that, endlessly. Still no rabbit's foot. Animals are done. Let's do Clint's, then traveling carts, then wood. And if we can fit anything else in, we can fit it in. You know what I mean? Y'all, today I'm burning a candle. Look at that. I'm burning a Bath and Body Works candle. It's called Whipped Coffee. It smells amazing. It's really, really, it's so strong that, and I know Bath and Body Works candles are like, straight up poison but it's good smelling poison they smell so strong not all of them but this one smells so strong that i don't even have it lit and i'll like walk upstairs and when i hit the top of the stairs it smells like the candle do you believe that <gasps> where the f is clint where is clint Leave it to him to be, I don't know, what? He's probably at Harvey's. The the day I need him. I need him a lot of days, but how dare he one of the days I need him. How how dare he? I still gotta go to Jody's at seven. Y'all said I could do it again. I could do it on any day, and I will. Just, I don't know about today. I might not make it today. We'll see. Okay, we did the woods. We did the traveling cart. Okay, we're halfway. We're halfway. We just need to get a hundred more. I know that's not accurate math. We just need to get what ninety-seven? Is ninety-seven? Okay, this is, this is proper math. Um, hardwood to get the boat. Someone needed a battery pack. Pam needed a battery pack, and then we can bring this freaking fish. We could have some dinner with the crazy folks. I bet the fish won't even be seasoned either. Okay, here we are. Hi, Ken. Please come in. I'm so glad you came and you brought the fish. Wonderful. Sam, could you come in here and help clean this fish? Y'all invited me to dinner at 7. Preparing the fish is at least, at least going to take an hour. At least. Like, that's such a generous estimate. Closer to probably like an hour and a half, two hours. So we're not going to eat till like 9. So I got to hang out with y'all for an hour and a half. 
Just plop the fish on the ground. Ken caught a fish too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. Okay, Ken. <laughs> mm, that crispy bass was delicious. The breading. Okay, she breaded it. Okay. All right. I almost feel like part of the family now. No, I don't know about that, bestie. I think you've got a pretty good family of your own. You've got two boyfriends and a girlfriend. You've got a shad in your pocket. You've got poo, a cat whose name you can never remember. I think you I think you're good. Y'all, I have so many saucy stories as of recent that I would love to share with y'all, but I feel like a lot of y'all might not appreciate it. So I'll save the saucy stories for my vlogs. But just know, if you watch these playthroughs and you're like, I wonder what Kennedy does in her day-to-day -day life, watch my vlogs, you know? But also, I understand if you're like, I don't give a crap. I don't give a hoot about what Kennedy does in her personal life. I just want to watch some chill Stardew. I also understand that. I have these trees packed in here. There's no gaps. <laughs> I have been watching vlogs more. I think I talked about watching vlogs like way early on in the series, like gotta be close to 11, 10, 11 months now. Cause that was around the time when I was watching vlogs again. But I went from like vlogs to streams to nothing back to vlogs. <laughs> I love a freaking vlog, man. Something about it. I don't know what it is. Something about just like putting on someone's vlog while you're working or doing something. It's so comforting. And then you start to like learn them as a person and you're like, oh, I know you. <laughs> and I know that's just a parasocial relationship, but I don't care, man. I'm like, this is great. I understand this is a parasocial relationship and I accept that. And I'm still gonna feel like I know this person. And I love that. <laughs> It's a, it's a fun one. It's a fun kind of relationship. There's very minimal obligations. You just consume and appreciate, and that's it. Very straightforward. Some of my healthiest relationships are parasocial. That's not true. Yeah, one of the main people I've been watching is Aaliyah's face. And, oh, pay him a battery pack. Okay, not happening. Goblin. Key, okay. Okay, so I'll do Clint's, Clint, Pam, Goblin. Oh, I didn't check the calendar. Oh, I hope it wasn't someone's birthday. No, okay, but it's Robin's birthday tomorrow. Okay, yeah, Aaliyah's face. I don't think I've talked about her before because I actually did not like her before that much. She kind of bothered me. She was kind of all over the place. And not in like a bad way, just like her energy is kind of all over the place. And I just was, I was like, no, I can't do that right now. I need like really calm and aesthetic and curated, you know? Can I put honey in the casks? <gasps> we gonna see. So yeah, and for some reason now I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna see it. She lives like this really bougie Atlanta life and I'm a little bit jealous because Jealous in like an aspirational way, not in like I actually don't like her. I'm jealous because Atlanta seems like a great place. <laughs> Literally, my Maya also watches Leah's face vlogs, and every week we're like, should we move to Atlanta? <laughs> it just seems so cool. It's like so diverse, so I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it just seems like a cool place. We're not gonna move to Atlanta. If anything, we're moving to LA, but. Anyways, this is supposed to be about Leah. She just she just does cool stuff, okay? She lives a bougie Atlanta life, does kind of cool stuff, goes out to eat, shops, shows like the things she's bought. Very just like girl boss. Girl boss on her girl boss moves, you know? And I appreciate it. That's all. <laughs> and she has like a very nice, simple, clean style that I appreciate. And that's about it. She's consistent. Ooh, got my coffee beans. Yes, and I had a point in bringing Ali up. Okay, <laughs> I got sidetracked because listen, my brain is my brain is off today. My brain is dead. Something about the like Thanksgiving break of work like turned my brain off. And today when I logged onto my email, I literally felt like that Mr. Krabs meme where it's like the room spinning because my like my brain just couldn't keep up. It could not process at a normal sp speed. I, it took me like f ten minutes to just like. Process and read a normal sentence. 
that's where I'm at today, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I can't even talk. Anyways, I brought up Aaliyah because watching vlogs and like getting back into vlogs has been making me like making vlogs more because I've been able to kind of like learn how really experienced people vlog and learn the patterns and like the kind of creative creativity and creative aspect behind it that I kind of took for granted like I, I didn't even really like think about it when I started vlogging I was just like you just pick up the camera and you vlog and then I started slowly realizing like oh there's a lot more to it like I like watching these vlogs over these vlogs because there's like a dynamicism to it and the framing of things and whatever and even when it's like a simple come with me on my day vlog like there's still a little bit of that you know like so it's been making me really enjoy the process of vlogging and, and trying to kind of try out other mediums and, and themes of, of content. That's it. <laughs> That's why I went on that whole spiel. I don't think you can put honey in these. No, you can't. Oh, y'all see the little worms behind here? I did not even see that. That'd be something good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Clint, you better be here. Whatever hiatus you were on. I hope he was in therapy is what I hope. 30 pieces of wood for Robin. We can do that. All that for some iron. I'm dead. Elliot, my boy, where are you? Come get this feather. So this doesn't taste like cookie dough. It kind of just tastes like, the brownies just taste like brownies. The cookie dough, oops, the cookie dough kind of tastes like cookie dough. He's not here. Is he in the library? I don't know where else he goes. Well, I guess he could be at the end of the dock. <gasps> yes, he's here, okay. I just want to get to 10 star, 10 hearts. I don't care, goodbye. Thank you. <gasps> I put the battery pack away, like a dum-dum, to the woods. You know what's the weirdest thing? Yes, I'm gonna always talk about my cat like he's my son and his actions make sense like a human's make sense, okay? I will always do that. After I got my rug, Chila started sleeping under the bed like at night and, and for naps. Sometimes I'll sleep like half the, half the time, half and half. He finds a spot, I don't even know where the spot is. He finds, it might be like a bag or something he's burrowing into. I think he heard me talking about him. He sleeps under there now, only because of the rug. I don't know why, I don't know if he likes the texture or I, I don't know. Maybe like I, when I shifted things around, there was like something he liked nestling into. I don't know. Half the time and now he sleeps there. At night, he'll sleep there first and then in the morning he'll come up and sleep with me. I don't know, I don't know y'all. It, it freaks me out when his behavior changes out of nowhere. I hear the sound now and it is definitely not poo chewing grass because I was writing poo. <laughs> so that does check out, thank you. Did I just sell the battery pack or did I never take it out? Oh, I, I took it out and then I, oh, I'm dumb. I think that's what I did last time. Okay, Pammy, come get your battery pack, girl. She already walked home. Yep. Does she go home from, nope. I was gonna say, does she go home from the bus or straight to the saloon? She goes straight to the saloon. Thank you. Pam needs juice. So I need 30 wood by when, two days? Let's go do that now. We got nothing better to do. Ugh, Marnie. Come on, thank you. Ah, the mayo, oh. We gotta do the mayo. I can't forget it another day. Have I just been selling it? Willy nilly? I was selling it. Take this mayo. That smell, I can't resist. Give me that. <laughs> he just runs into, okay, whatever. Okay. Oh, the ink, the ink. I forgot why I was here. The statue stares through you. Dark Shrine of Memory. Our shrine of night terrors. The ancient Magi seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear on your farm at night. Make an offering of one strange bun. Absolutely not. What monsters do? No. What are you? 
Make an offering of 500 gold to change your appearance. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, I could change my hair finally. Remember I had this, this, this. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, but I can't see because my cowboy hat. I can't see. I want my puffed up buns. But I can't see because my cowboy hat. Oh, maybe I'll just do big hair. I'll just do big 80s curly hair. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do big, curly. There we go, 58. That's what I'm talking about. I'll make it a little darker. Amazing. Okay, favorite thing, chilaquiles. Everything else is good. Miso. Amazing. Look at that, we have beautiful curly locks under our cowboy hat now and our bikini shirt. I love it. Bikini shirt, bikini top. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No, well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone or? Not him still caring about the wife. Not with a, a secret love child. Actually, don't tell me, I don't wanna know. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward, here. Why, why is the wizard kinda? You know what I mean? But only on this view, not on the actual portrait view. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I will make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm? And I think you'll find it useful? Oh, I almost forgot to say, thank you. But what is, what, but what does that mean? Mm -mm. What does that mean? <gasps> oh, I forgot about this. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, that's less useful for me because I don't do that. I don't use that. Warps you to the mountains. Eh, eh. Warps you to the beach. Okay. Warps you to the desert is one I want. I want that one because I don't want to pay. I would rather pay a hunt, a million? Is that a mil- is that the, how many zeros there are? A million, then pay $500 for like the two times I'll actually go to the desert? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Prevents debris from appearing on your farm, keeps fences from decaying. I love that. I want that. I want the gold clock. Is that 1 million or 10 million? I think it's 10 million. I can't see the- my, my eyeballs are running together. Those are fun. Okay, I totally forgot about those and I will forget about them again. So y'all have to remind me when I have enough money to get them because I think they're required for like the completion aspect of this. Oh, Pooh's all the way behind. Well, that was fun. Yay. That's like a big, kind of a big milestone that we've got there. So we're almost done with the, the secret bundle. There's no way we're finishing cheese challenge. <laughs> there just ain't no way. I might have to like bring in somebody. I might have to fly somebody out, have them play my play file so that we can get to level whatever it is in the skull caves <laughs> and do 100% complete on this file. <laughs> or it'll just take me like 10 years and we'll be doing this for years and years to come <laughs> until I can actually get there. It's Robin's birthday. Robin girl, what do you like? Oh, we only know her liked gifts. Uh-uh. Robin loves the peach. Goat cheese, peach. We have both of those things. I say we do a peach. Ugh, oh, this hair is just serving everything it needs to serve. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not that we really need the moolah right now, but thank you. Yay, okay. So we can sell a lot of that. And I'm also gonna chop some wood so I can two birds with one stone it. Did I already get it? <laughs> I did, okay. Okay, did the animals. The animals, next I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna see how long it takes. Because holy crap. It's no joke. Okay, got the wood. I'm running up to Robin. Stay there, Robin. Yay, you're welcome. And also, ha happy birthday. Yay. Okay, we did that. This is not happening. How many days are left? Oh my god, eight days. 
bestie is not happening oh i haven't gone to the quarry in a while i'm gonna do that it's frustrating when ugh, more content creating stuff i'm sorry but it's frustrating when this specific collaboration is the last um like product for collaboration i'm i've will ever do like not because it's this not because of this specific experience because i just don't do them anymore and i haven't done them for a while but i agreed to this one a long time ago and it's just like such a cool product that i would want anyways that i was like okay i'll do it but it is frustrating and it's one of those why i'm getting a lot of wood out of these like is that normal damn I just, when, when companies have like a lot of notes on something, on like a, a thing you create, they're like, you'll have so much creative freedom. And then you turn it in and they have so many notes and it's like, you aren't even paying me. You aren't paying me. <laughs> what is it? What, why does it matter if there's a little thing that you don't like if you're not paying me? It's frustrating, y'all. <laughs> so never again. But you know, you've got to have those experiences. You've got to have those like, you've already made the decision that like something's going to be your last time doing something or you're going to leave a job or whatever it is. You're like, you're parting ways. You're making that decision. And you know, the last experience, the last day, the last whatever, it's got to be bad because it, it makes you feel better about leaving. You go, oh, this is why I left. This is why I made the choice. So I'm thankful in a way, you know? I have so much wood. Remember when it used to take me like two days to get that much wood? Because I had to conserve my energy and, and I was getting like, I don't know, 10 wood per tree. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like I have a lot of wood. Oh, but y'all, I know this is like a week late, but how is your thanksgivings and your black friday did you get anything exciting i think i already told you all my most exciting thing which was the tv but did y'all get anything exciting let me know question of the day <gasps> mm. 100 percent lumberjack 100 percent lumberjack chance to drop hardwood are you kidding me i don't even have to look that one up i don't have to look that one up because i don't even sell syrups Amazing, amazing. Oh my god, y'all! I totally forgot we did all the witches swamp shit because uh, that's where the void salmon is. I totally forgot. Okay, we gotta check that out after I do the animals. I'm timing it this time. Our star fruit's done. Immediately making more. Ooh, we got three. We don't even have room for these. Okay, it's time to cut some straws down. Here we go. Yay. We're gonna have a greenhouse full of money makers. Okay, I think I started at like nine. I think I might've started before nine, but generally nine. So it takes like an hour, let's just say an hour and a half in game, generally. It's a lot, it's quite a bit. With that, we head to the witch's swamp and we try to get to void salmon will we prevail no what if the train came like right now it would never happen because this game loves to make me suffer okay what are we thinking it's like just anywhere here just anywhere oh, i gotta look this up don't i it just says it can be caught in the witch's swamp. Just gonna sit back and let it come to us, okay? <gasps> oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <gasps> How exciting. How exciting. Oh my goodness, we did it. Y'all, the one, the, 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 the one notorious for being shitty at fishing. Terrible, terrible luck with fish. And we got the void salmon. We 
got the void salmon. Oh my gosh. All right, so we just need to wait. We don't even need the prismatic shard. We don't even need the prismatic shard. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We literally just need to wait for the wine and the rabbit's foot. We can do that. I can wait. Yay. Oh, does it have to be a gold? It has to be gold. Taking my ass back to the witch's swamp. It has to be gold. <laughs> it's okay, we can find one. We can find one. That wasn't stressful at all. That wasn't really hard at all to have to do again even harder because it's gold. Oh, this one might be a gold one, y'all. Kind of hard, kind of challenging. I don't know. I, I, it's just a regular one? Oh, it's a gold one! Yay! Yay! Oh my goodness. Look at that. Our patience and our fortitude and our perseverance paid off. Thank you, Stardew. Thank you. Wowie, wow, wow. What a day. <laughs> what a couple of hours. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say, did you say gold? <laughs> a gold void salmon? No problem. Easy peasy. Okay, we need five ancient fruit and what? What the hell was I? Oh, rabbit's foot is not for this. Rabbit's foot is for the other thing. Okay, so we need five ancient fruit. That I need to pay attention to. That is the one I keep forgetting. <sighs> okay. Well, now we have a void salmon we could we could do a fish pond with. I don't know why. Is there a reason? Is there a best fish? My Stardew experts. Is there a best fish to do the fish ponds with? And is void salmon one of them? Otherwise, I don't care about him. We could just sit in the chest for all I care. Let's check my little computer. Crops ready in the greenhouse five. I think those are all my fruit trees. Open tilled soil for... I don't want to machine ready 12 machine ready 12 okay that's one my basement no what what machines my animal my animal products that's what it is <laughs> yep okay there we go well that was helpful I usually don't check don't check it at night okay friends we did it we passed the goblin we changed our hair we caught a void salmon. What else did we do? I don't know. Gave Pam a battery pack for her remote control. Anyways, have a lovely Sunday. I love you. Stay cozy. See you next time. Mm -hmm.